Hello, hello! It is time for another picture book break, and I'm very excited about this book. I have not actually read it. It is another new book for us. Um, I will start doing some that I've read soon, but these are the ones that I have out, so these are the ones that I'm going to read first. Um, and this one, from what we glanced at it when we got it, it looks really super cute. So I'm going to read this one to you, and the book today is called TLC, and it's written by M.H. Clark. And it's illustrated by Shahab Shamshir Saz. Let me just show you how to say that. And if you know how to sub say that more correctly, you please let me know. But I just want to make sure that we have it. So this is the book. TLC, it's called. Um, the first introduction page is the same as the cover. I said when I came home, come play with me. Oh, sweetie, mom said, I'm too tired. I could really use a little TLC. TLC, I thought, TLC. I don't know what that is, but I am going to get it for her. I ran into the kitchen. I had an idea. I cracked, I measured, I squeezed, I zested, I whisked, I whipped, and finally my TLC was complete. Do you guys know what, when it says I squeezed and zested, do you know what zested means? So here we go. Our TLC was complete. Here's that picture. To zoom in a little bit so you can see. She is baking all by herself. Ta-da! I said, one delicious tart lemon custard. And you can see TLC, tart lemon custard. Thanks, sweetie, Mom said, but she didn't open her eyes. Oh, no, I thought. TLC must be something else. Look at her eagerness on her face. You can see the lemons in there. So it's not tart lemon custard. I thought and thought. I was full of good ideas. I made a phone call. I made another. Mom had lots of TLC coming her way. Look at the wide eyes on her panda. And the phone has a cord. Oh, look at her little dragon. All right. Look, Mom, I said as I opened the door. TLC, tiny licking chihuahuas, ran into the room. They licked my mom. They licked each other. They licked me. They rolled in the custard. They got custard paw prints everywhere. Sweetheart, Mom said, that's not quite what I had in mind. Tiny licking chihuahuas. Would you guys want a tiny licking chihuahua? Chihuahuas are teensy tiny dogs. One tiny licking chihuahua is one thing. That was a lot of tiny licking chihuahuas. In came a man with lots of tattoos. He had a net in his hand. I'm the tattooed lobster catcher you called for, he said. Have you seen my lobster anywhere? I cannot find him, I said, looking around the living room. And my mom covered her face and sighed. TLC, tattooed lobster catcher. Tiny looking chihuahuas, tangy lemon custard. Look at the mom, she's like, oh boy. I didn't even know lobster catcher was a thing. So I opened the door. 
In came a woman with a very big box. She opened it. A bright cloud of something flew out. Mom, a tropical ladybug collection. But my mom shook her head. A tropical ladybug collection, TLC. She's trying so hard. Look at this uh, tropical ladybug collection lady's outfit. I seriously enjoy it. So I opened the door. In came a tie-dyed llama cartwheeling. The llama flipped over faster and faster. My mom looked upset. Maybe she wanted something friendlier. A tie-dyed llama cartwheeling. Look at us, super happy at least. There's the mom, poor mom. So I opened the door. In slumped a timid lavender creature. It was 10 feet high and covered in fur and I couldn't see its eyes. The creature sat down next to my mom. It patted her knee, but she didn't look any happier. Actually, she looked a little scared. Would you be scared of that or would you be excited to see it? A timid lavender creature. All right, so I opened the door. Some trombone loving clowns came in. They started to play. The lavender creature tapped its toe as the llama listened. The ladybugs flew everywhere. The lobster catcher stood still and watched the chihuahuas licked and I danced and danced. But mom didn't seem to like the music. So there they are, trombone-loving clowns. Just for future reference, all of your mothers, every single one of them, does not want you to order trombone-loving clowns to come play in their living room. Every single one of them. Can't speak for anything else, but I know for sure that's true. So I opened the door. In came a trapezing lemur circus. They set up their trapezes without a peep and then they swung and they hung and they swung and they flew overhead. And I clapped and clapped, but mom did not. McLean House already has a lemur circus. It just has one lemur in it. All right. Oh my goodness, look at her outfit and her glasses. Kind of obsessed with that. Look at this girl's happy face. She's trying so hard. Just then the wall shook. Everyone watched as the back end of a truck broke through. It beeped. That's a very bad day. Uh, look at this lemur's face. I think it's funny. So they're just sitting in their living room and all of a sudden a truck is backing into their living room, bashing a hole in the wall. When your mom is tired, she's not when a truck backed into her wall. A truck of liquid chocolate! I shouted as delicious warm chocolate made a huge puddle in the living room. I jumped in and waited around. And then suddenly, bum, bum, bum. Mom yelled, stop! Oh my good gracious, that poor mom. There's the little girl. I don't need tart lemon custard, Mom said, or tiny looking chihuahuas, or tattooed lobster catcher, or a tropical ladybug collection, or a tie-dyed llama for cartwheeling, or a timid lavender creature, or a trombone loving clowns, or a trapezing lemur circus, and I certainly don't need a truck of liquid chocolate. She looked at me very seriously. What I need is a little tender loving care. TLC. Tender loving care. Oh, I said, I can do that. And I sat on my couch and I gave my mom a very big hug. Look how happy the mom is now.
That, said mom, is just what I needed. I mean, her whole life is chaos now, but she got the hug she needed. And maybe she looks happier. The end. So the moral of the story is, your mom is tired and has had a long day. She probably needs a hug. She doesn't need a circus or loud noises or chocolate dumped on her on her living room floor or a truck backed up into it. Just give her a hug and give her some tender loving care. I love you very much. Bye babies.